Hi, today I want to show you how to use the intercompany module. Only two things are required to use the intercompany module. You have to own it and you have to have more than one company. So, let's start by opening up the administration window and we have to set it up first. So under admin, setup, and system, we're going to choose intercompany. And the first thing it asks us is about what is our originating company. And I'm going to select the database that I'm in, Fabricam. Fabricam, and you can see the SQL name there. Along the left side of the screen, you'll see the destination company, or all other databases in the system. So I'll select the World Online, and then on the right, I choose my Do To and Do From accounts for the originating company and the destination company. So what I'm going to do under Do To Do From is click on the lookup glass, and I'll find my Do To Do From accounts. And there's my do to do from account for the world online. And I happened in to use the same account number for both of these transactions, whether it's do to or do from. So I will choose that option for both. It's not uncommon for companies just to have one account for do to do from. Uh, for each company, they have a do to do from account with. Now in the destination company, I'll click on the lookup glass, and now I see the general ledger accounts in the other company, in the destination company. So once again, I'll choose do to do from, and this time I'll choose do to do from Fabricam. And again, I use the same account numbers, regardless of whether I'm choosing a do to option or a do from option. And now I'll click on save. I've set it up and it's ready to use. So let's do a payables transaction now. So I'm going to go to payables, and I'll go to transaction entry, and I'm going to key in a transaction. So let me select a vendor. I'll choose a travel company and enter in a document number and enter in a document amount. Now the only thing that's different on this screen that I need to populate is I need to click in the box at the top of the screen called intercompany. Then I'll go into distributions and you'll see this first column comes alive. And this is the company ID column so I can select a different company ID. By default, it used the company that I'm entering the transaction in and the purchasing account set up for that vendor as the default. But I want this one to be coded to the world online. So I'll click on the company ID code or lookup window and select the world online. And now for the account number, when I click on the lookup glass, I'm actually looking in the account number for the other database. So now I could find the account number that I'm looking for. There's travel and entertainment and now I'll click OK. Intercompany transactions need to be saved into a batch, so I'm going to save this into a batch, and now I'm going to push this batch. We'll just cancel all these reports. And now what's going to happen is it's going to expense the account in the other company and credit the do to do from, and here it's going to credit or increase accounts payable and debit do to do from. So let's do a look up and find a travel. Let's get rid of our history and see if we could find this entry we just created. Here it is for $5,000, and again we see it's in our company and we can see the distributions of how it was set up. So in the general ledger series, I'm going to then post my payables transaction batch, and this will post my entries in the general ledger. In this particular case, I did not have my batch set up to post through and to. I only had it set post to. So let's go ahead. Here's my journal entry. As you can see, it lists both companies detailed out and the account numbers that each one used. Now let's see what happened in the other database. I'll open it up, and you can see I'm in the world online. Now, one of the things about intercompany transactions is they do not post automatically for us. So you will need to go into the other company and choose an intercompany uh, transaction. There are some third-party uh, products out there that will go in and do that for you. So you'll just need to post this batch, and it will be all set up. That was easy, huh? Hope this helps.